Cancer IV drips and the glutathione vitamin C connection. High dose intravenous vitamin C can act as a prooxidant in killing cancer cells, where it has to be separated from glutathione. Otherwise, vitamin C needs to be kept in balance with glutathione. So, what does this mean? Well, make sure you watch this now because this is only available for free for 48 hours and then it is reserved for MasterPass members. Let's get down to business. Is high dose vitamin C good for you? Well, high dose intravenous vitamin C can selectively kill cancer cells in live patients and can save sepsis patients from dying, but it acts as a prooxidant in cancer and an antioxidant in sepsis. So what does that mean for the rest of us? Oral doses of 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C per day raise oxalate levels in most people, and as little as 400 milligrams, possibly lower, raises oxalate in some people. So what does that mean? Is it about the dose or not? Well, it's about the dose and the person and the context and all the stuff underneath the hood. This seems to be, meaning oxalate, seems to be the most sensitive indicator of a delicate imbalance with glutathione and other factors needed to recycle the vitamin C. Such a balance actually needs to be avoided when killing cancer, yet it is critical to maintaining health in every other context. Individuals under high stress appear to need at least 250 milligrams beyond diet to minimize the incidence of colds, and anecdotally, some people seem to benefit from much higher doses. But how do we take advantage of such benefits without upsetting the delicate balance with glutathione and the propensity to generate oxalate? Well, that, my friends, is the topic of this episode. But this episode, past this point, is only available for free for 48 hours. It is after that reserved for MasterPass members. So check the link in the description to find the written article full with references as well as the evergreen video and podcast. And with that said, let's get down to business.